You're watching Fios One News, the one place for everything on our island. Team. Would you get punched to help a charity? Well, that's exactly what some business people on Long Island did tonight. Stepping into the ring to use their fists to lend a helping hand. Fast one's Krista McNally with that story from Melville. One after another, over 20 boxers stepped into the ring to take some hits for a good cause. <laughs> round after round, everyone was a winner at the 15th annual Long Island Fight for Charities main event. It's a really incredible experience. It's like beyond what words can describe at this point, um, but I'm really glad that I took this opportunity. I'm 48 years old, a little on the older side, uh, but first time in the ring ever. Learned a lot from my opponent who worked with me a little bit going into it, and uh, we had a lot of fun. The boxers are business professionals who have trained for nearly a year to be prepared to step into the ring and raise money for a good cause. I, mean, I have over 50 people here today, friends, family, co-workers, everybody supporting the effort. Raised a lot of money, goes back to everybody on Long Island that's in need. They raised over... $11,750. Just me alone with my for Chelly Deegan Tirana supporters. So it's just incredible. In the past 15 years, this event has raised $1.1 million for Long Island charities, like the Long Island Community Chest, that helps people on Long Island with short term financial support. The main event this year is expected to bring in another $200,000, and that's something worth cheering about. <laughs> There was also food tastings from local vendors and support from many companies on the island. Over 1,000 spectators were at the fight to watch the boxers go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It, was, it was a great experience. I met um, some really, really amazing people. Uh, the camaraderie, um, just the whole entire experience, the training. I'm a lifetime boxer now. I'm thoroughly addicted, uh, so I highly recommend it. Reporting in Melville, Krista McNally, Fios 1 News.